So here we are with uh, sequence Z. Anything but Vitano on his birthday. Today, Friday 13th of October. So, Danu, you all changed and you're cleaned up and you're looking very comfortable. So please wake up. Here we go. Now, we freaked out a lot uh, in the past, in the, in the previous two sequences. Uh, I want to talk about the, uh, the compassionate human being that you are, which a lot of people don't know actually. I'm happy that you have figured it out. Your sister told me. That's it. Your... <laughs> That's the only way you found out. Your heart moves when you see uh, sad people, uh, poor people and animals. What really moves you? Uh, first, um, well, I think all, anything that's helpless, like when I look at you, I know that you know age is catching up. <laughs> I didn't say I'm not old. No, I always, I always believe on air as well. But um, no, I think it's um, um, certain ways that we were brought up, we were always asked to think of ourselves in the other person's shoe for a minute and see why or what is the thinking behind that person. Of course, I'm also human, I also get angry, I um, lash out, I also get annoyed about things. But it's sometimes I do sit back and think, okay, if this person behaves this way, what could be the reason? You buy all the medicine for an old gentleman I know who cannot afford his medicine. Let's move there, let's have a chat over water. Uh, and this gentleman, he, he was finding it hard to pay his bills. Uh, in certain place, so Danu uh, okay. took it up to, himself to, to buy his medicine once a month and then uh, gets his sister Tushara uh, buys the medicine for you and you him. So, uh, this is, uh, well this uncle is the one who cleans the washrooms at my office. Um, I really feel bad for him because I always think to myself, what could be the purpose behind him working at the age of 70 or the late 60s? Okay. Um, and it's because either his kids have just literally neglected him or the fact that they can't be bothered. So I always think to myself, okay, if this happens to my mom or dad, I'm sure it will be the other way around. So first thing I was against the fact that he used to wear slippers. So I got him like rubber boots, told him always wear, of course he never wore it. He complained about it, but yet he asked me to help him out with his diabetes and that's the only reason I got him the rubber boots because I didn't want any infection to go through. When you help people, do you expect gratitude in return? Do you expect a lot of thanks and recognition or you just do it and that's it? Well, I don't even know his name. <laughs> <laughs> I only know him as uncle, so... so. And all these dogs you, you, you help, all these animals, you really you help them. Litters in car parks, you, you rescued and helped them. Um, I think dogs are... Any animals are, but it, I'm a bit scared of birds. I don't know, man, they are just freaky. But it's <laughs> dogs. What's Alfred Hitchcock's movie? Yeah, but birds, I can never. No, they are not warm to hug, you know. No, our cats for that matter. Cats are cute. You have to find the right cat. Okay. okay. But anyway, but I think about like dogs. Big one here. <laughs> <laughs> but there's something about dogs, man. I think okay. they're so warm, they're so real. And um, at, at our place, it's just Akka and me. It's not that my sister is coming there and bagging her tail every time I open the door. So the dogs do that. And our cover just there. Ah, that's true. You so. eat all her food. <laughs> that's true, but yet, you know, there is something so warm Bushara, about it. Bushara, you really bag your tail and just bag <laughs> the door? No. no, I just wanted to know who will open the door for me. Okay. So they're there at that time. So you feel wanted and you feel like going into the house. Do you think, okay, you are a diva, which you really actually are, and you merit it. Uh, do you think that one day, perhaps when roles reverse and uh, you are, you need help, will there be a lot of people to help you? Uh, I actually... Everybody who actually uh, fawns over you and who runs out to you today. Telling the honest truth, before this chapter called, you know, Limelight or the fact that you even took me worthy enough to be on your show. And to open our inaugural show, we're starting this series with Daru himself and nobody else. So, please note. Yeah. <laughs> so, before all of this, I have met some great friends and still to date, they are the ones who I share my stories with, share my jokes with. They don't even know half the people who are abusive to me or kind to me, but I'll narrate the stories and they know those. And they are the type who I can call from Gaul and say I have a flat tire and they will make it. And I know that. And I only have a few like that and that's good enough. I only need four people to carry him to the grave, no? That is, if I am being buried, I don't have a plot, a plot. so I'll be cremated more or less. Even there, I need four people, right? Yeah, three can manage, three can manage. But you know, I'm really dependent on you, but I don't know whether you'll be there. I have a there. heart problem, <laughs> <laughs> so I to carry you. 
<laughs> it won't work. Now look, when you're okay, talking of death, when you're dead one day, many years into the future, uh, how best do you want to be remembered? Think a few seconds. That actually. is true. Um, I don't know, you know, something that I learned from my dad, after years after Dada passed away, there was this man called Chokkan who used to work with Dada. He actually found him making this cup of tea in this very artistic manner. So Dada took him to Chillada, that's our hometown in Jaffna, and he was always like my grandfather's shadow because he came to fix anything. Buyer, floor, ground, build a wall, build a house, he can do everything. So he got cancer in 92 and he was sent to Colombo for treatment through a Red Cross back in the days during the peak of the war. Then Dada passed away in 93 March. So we lost touch with Chokkan and he has come to know that Dada passed away and he ran from the Kalvula hospital and he had pulled a trauma here and then he has gone back home and we never know what happened to him. Like two, three years before mummy passed away in 2008, we got a call saying that in Bavania he has been mending people's shoes that has become his livelihood. And how they have recognized it's Chokkan is because he has a chocolate tin that he opens and he has all his little tools there and it had Dada's picture okay. and he prays to it and this man has recognized my father and said how do you know so and then he said oh, because Dada because at that time crossing to Colombo was a huge problem and people robbed out of you so mummy kept the money into his shirt and stitched another shirt underneath so that nobody can take it off him so he's ever so grateful to Dada and that after so many years after Dada died for that man, from 93 to 2008, for that man to remember my father made me understand you don't need big people. I think if there's one person like that, that's good enough. So you've helped people, uh, two-legged and four-legged, and I'm sure they will always remember yeah. you. One person will have me in their chocolate box. That was great <laughs> talking to you. Wish you a very, very happy 32nd birthday. Thank you. And thanks for be, uh, being our guest on our inaugural show. Good luck to you. I'm still very shocked that you thought of me, but thank you so much. Credit goes well to you. So, <laughs> we catch you again next week around this time with another celeb on our show. Bye, everybody. <sighs> Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, dear Danu. Happy birthday to me. Sorry, but I'm just, <laughs> I'm just laughing because that was so funny. <laughs>